Hey guys, what's going on? This is Bikini Gamer here. Hope everybody had a great weekend. So, I know it's been such a long time since I posted. Mm, I know, I suck. I just had a lot going on. I'm so sorry. But I should be getting back to posting and everything should be going back to normal. So, this video I wanted to do something a little bit more different. And I wanted to do a topic video. So, a few days ago I posted on my Instagram um, that I wanted to do this. And a lot of you guys gave me a lot of suggestions and comments and I want to thank everybody. So I picked one topic, and it's from David underscore CR. He asked me what my top five movies are. And I don't think you guys know this, but I'm a huge movie fan. Like, I love movies. I would love to watch movies. I could Netflix all day. So I'm going to do uh, the top five movies that are my favorite movies. But, of course, this is not going to have Star Wars. So you guys know why I love that movie. But I wanted to make it just a little bit different. And I hope some of you guys do identify with me. If not, I hope you guys do like the video. So this movies will be in order because I just can't pick. I don't know. Uh, but I, you guys will have my five favorite movies. So yay. So first and foremost, something you guys didn't know about me is that I love Dracular movies. I have no idea why. I just do. I think they're completely fascinating and intriguing. Like, And they're also based on true, uh, true life events. So I do like that. So I think all my favorite jerk dealer movie would have to be Blow. I really like Blow because it's just all over the place. First of all, it's like this guy that he found he finds some amazing connect and then he grows, makes something out of nothing. And this is true, what not, or what happened to him? He is a real character, like real life. He went to jail, or, or sorry to spoil the movie, but he went to jail. Anyways, but, but this is a really awesome movie because. It just sucks that the world we live in, I think, um, he's just kind of a businessman. He didn't know what else to do, and that's all he could, he knew how to do, you know? And society just kind of punished him for that, because we live in a society where all this stuff is, is illegal, and it's not legal, so literally, he's not a businessman. He is a drug dealer. But I guess that's life. But I'm sorry if I spoiled the movie, but you guys should totally watch it. It's an amazing movie. So, this next movie I'm going to talk about, it's the Lego movie. I love the Lego movie. I know, I'm such a kid, I don't care. Um, so, actually, the way I found out about this movie is through one of my friends, and he's around my age. So, at first I thought he was, like, super lame. I'm like, what are you doing watching a kid's movie? That's really lame. You're lame. I mean, I do like kid's movie, but I don't know. This seemed like it was just going to be a really, like, three-year-old kind of movie. But he's like, no, you should watch it. It's totally cool. I'm like, okay, sure. So, I watched it. And it was amazing. It was so cool. I mean, uh, from the beginning, it's basically made up of a society that follows all the rules. So basically, they're all consumers. They all, you know, they all drink coffee. They all listen to the same music. They all watch the same TV show. And it's just basically a cycle. And the main character, he just does everything, you know, he's supposed to do. And as the movie goes on, it just captivates me because... It's kind of how we, like, it's kind of like us in real life. Like, we get up every day, we go to work, or we go to school, we get off school, you know, we go home, we eat, we, you know, fight traffic to get back home, and, and then, you know, on the weekend, we'll, you know, whatever you guys do, I don't know, go shopping, get wasted, I don't know what you guys do. And it's just like a, a circle, and we just keep repeating this, and it's kind of like we're like sheep or something. It's really, it's really lame, I think. And I do like this movie because it taught me that it's it's good to be unique. It's good to be different. And I've always thought of it. I always thought that. I always thought that it's really awesome. Like, whoever you are, you should always be yourself. I mean, you know, everybody isn't made out of the same cookie cutter. Right? Everybody isn't the same. So, it is good to be different. And if you, you know, you don't necessarily have to follow all the rules. Like, per se, like, you know, in a way society tells us, like, oh, everybody should go to school, go to college, graduate, have kids, get married blah 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 but maybe that's not the path that everybody wants to take you know maybe you want to not have kids or maybe you want to travel the world and then figure it out you know so i think everybody should be different and everybody should do what makes you happy and this movie is a really awesome movie it's super funny it's not going to be like a little kids movie so if you haven't watched it you should definitely watch it and check it out and let me know what you guys think as well because i really love the movie so this next movie i'm going to talk about is um Basically, I'm sure you guys have already already know this about me, but I love Mean Girls. Mean Girls is one of my favorite movies. And I literally named all of my Destiny characters after Mean Girls. So, yeah, I really like the movie that much. And I'm pretty sure you guys have, most of you guys have already watched it. It's, I mean, it's been out for a really long time. 
And I mean, it's just super funny. The punchlines are great. Um, even if you watch it now, I know the movie was made like I think 10 years ago. And it, even if you watch it now, it's still like really funny. And if you haven't watched it, like where have you been? Where? Because I mean, seriously, this, I mean, everybody talks about it. So if you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. That's one of my top movies. So the next movie I want to talk about is Donnie Darko. And I know this movie was made like a long time ago, but it's really awesome. And if you haven't watched it, yeah, you should. So basically it's about this guy, his name is Donnie, and he's like in high school. I think like a senior or something, I don't know. And basically he's one of those kids that's like maybe, I don't want to say weird. He's just a little odd, maybe a little different from everybody else or whatnot. It comes from a, like a prescription based generation where basically you just kind of give prescription pills to your kids. Um, and that's kind of what he takes to be normal or whatever that means. And basically um, the movie does have to do, oh my god I'm so itchy, sorry. Anyways, um, the movie does have to do with kind of like time travel, uh, uh, sorry time travel or whatnot um and basically he breaks out of his own destiny so it kind of switches everything around um because i believe like you know we're supposed to take a bath like let's say today we can make a decision we can rob a bank and go to jail forever or we can graduate school or college and then have a great life so which path are you going to take are you going to take the crappy path so everything we do in life is kind of made up by decisions that we make every day. And any decision we make could definitely alter our future. So this, um, this movie kind of has to do with that. And I really love time travel. I thought, I've always thought it was really fascinating. And every time I watch this movie, like, you know, I think it's going to answer questions, but it kind of leaves me more questions than answers. So it's, it's that kind of movie. You guys should definitely watch it and let me know what you think about it. Last but not least, um, my last movie would have to be Requiem for a Dream, and this movie is just crazy. I mean, because um, you guys know how I like regular movies. Well, this is more like on the attic kind of side. Um, this movie has to do with basically this um guy. His well, it's not this guy. Well, this mom and like her son or whatever. And the mom's really lonely, and the son he's like addicted to heroin and stuff. And the mom is aware of that. And I guess she kind of tries to help him or whatever, but I guess everybody like in the movie is just filled with their own addiction that they try, you know, they have this void and they try to fill it with drugs, but you know, drugs are not going to fill that void. So I get, basically the mom, all she has is a TV and that's what basically fulfills her life. And I think all she wants to do is like be skinny or something like that and, or like be slimmer or whatever you want to call it. And she becomes addicted to, I think it's like pain pills or something like that. I'm not, I'm not really good with like drugs. I don't know about drugs. But yeah, I think she becomes addicted to some kind of pills. And in her own way, basically, she's dealing with her own addiction while her son is dealing with the heroin addiction. But it definitely kind of gives you an insight of like, you know, kind of like how an addict's mind works. I mean, I've never, um, I've never really met anybody that was an addict or, you know, somebody that was super, super close to me. I mean, I think it was only one person, but I wasn't that close to him. Uh, but yeah, so this movie kind of is all over the place with that. And I just thought it's fascinating, like what they go through, what goes through their mind. And it kind of gives you an insight about that. So this is a movie that I would definitely recommend again. You guys should totally watch it. I think it might be like R. So if you're like under 18, maybe you shouldn't watch it. But whatever. Um, yeah, so you guys should totally watch it. And let me know what you guys think. Um, I did want to put on last movie that I just didn't know how to explain. Because I didn't want to ruin the movie if you haven't watched it. I think it's voted the best movie of, you know, 2015. Like, hands down. Like, no doubt about that. And it's called Mad Max. And it's amazing. I don't want to say anything about it because I don't want to ruin it. I just want to tell you guys that you guys should totally watch it if you're like, a, you know, into movies or you're a movie fan or whatever. You guys should totally watch it. And, of course, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at BikiniGamer99. And, as always, game on. Ciao.